Okay, let's talk about Evil Dead the game. The question I want to ask is, is this going to be a great new addition to the asymmetrical horror genre, or is it simply another game company cashing in on the nostalgia of another classic movie franchise? While I can't predict the future, we can take a look at what we know about the game so far, and more importantly, what we don't know, to determine if Evil Dead the game is going to be the new king of the genre, or if it will simply take your money and run. Space Coconut Let's start with what we know about the game. It's being made by Saber Interactive, whose recent games include Space Marine 2 and World War Z Aftermath. The face of the dev team, since there's no one else I've seen, is the chief creative officer of Saber Interactive, Tim Willits, who is in an interview for the game with Bruce Campbell by Jeff Knightley. The game will have you and a group of three other friends fighting against Deadites as classic characters from the franchise that are trying to stop you from your objective. That objective is to collect pages of the Necronomicon and tapes to cast a spell to send the primary demon back to where it came from. The demon, in this case, is another player taking on the role of the bad guy. The demon can possess Deadites to take a more direct approach in attacking the team of four. The mention of this mechanic brings me back to the Resident Evil Mastermind game where the controller would take over a zombie in the same way, uh, for the same reason. Unlike Dead by Daylight, the gold standard for the 4v1 asymmetrical horror genre... Click the game. I barely touched it. Are we desynced? We seem to be good. Nope, never mind. Literally, just touching it. That was an abrupt fucking crash. It crashed your game. I got a crash reporter. <laughs> okay, so not only does it disconnect them, it it hard crashes. It hard crashes their game the second you touch the game. It sounds like the objectives for players will be to eliminate the opposing side. They've mentioned that players can die from fear, and the official website mentions that players will need to manage their fear. So this might be how the demon will kill off their opponents. As for the game itself, it's going to be available on the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PS4, PS5, and the Epic Game Store, and will have full crossplay between those versions. There was no mention about Steam, so we can safely assume that this is another Epic Game Store exclusive. The pre-order editions all come with bonuses and goodies that the craziest Evil Dead fans are going to absolutely love along with in-game exclusive Ash skins from the various Evil Dead movies. As I'm writing this, there's a video coming out tomorrow about the Kandarian demon, so I'll add to this section afterwards. Okay, so the uh, the demon teaser came out today and with didn't have a whole lot of information in it, just the normal hype, but we did see these two screens. Uh, this is the character select for the demon side, and it looks like we're going to have nine different characters that we can choose from and then three sections that each three of those demons, uh, those, uh, yeah, that each three of those demons will fall into or each of those nine demons will fall into. So I don't think that you have to play as all three. Otherwise, it's going to be like um, last year, the nightmare where if one demon dies, you're going to swap to the next demon. Uh, it really feels like it's possible. Now that I think about the movies, the multiple characters that uh, you had to deal with, right? So it's possible that the good players, I guess, are going to have to deal with three demons uh, per match session, taking each one out, and then use the demon player will be switching to a new demon once it gets taken out. And then it just has their stats there with uh, whatever, however those are going to coincide with the with the matches in the game. And that's everything that we know. In the eight months since its announcement at E3, the only additional video that we've gotten was the pre-order trailer, which leads us to what we don't know. We still have little to no information on the more important parts of the game. Is there a progression system? How will new characters be added and accessed? What are the objectives for the players? What does the UI look like? What does a typical match look like? Can multiple players use the same character in a match? These are the most important topics of a game that haven't even been mentioned yet. Evil Dead has been delayed twice. Both times they said it would give them time for more polish and to get things just right according to an article from Polygon. 
It's also mentioned that instead of releasing the game in February as planned, that's when we'll see the pre-order information. Nostalgia is a funny thing. It can be really profitable for a company to put a lot of effort into including a lot of things that franchise fans will love about a new product. The fact that all of the collector's editions and special editions of the game have sold out is a testament to this fact. And if I'm being honest, there's nothing wrong with that. Huge fans get some extra pieces for their shelves, and let's be honest, they would have bought that stuff anyway even if it didn't include a game to play. But for me, a coconut who loves video games, it's actually very concerning to see a huge push for pre-orders before we have any real idea of what the game is like. So now, let's put on our skepticism glasses to see why we don't have any real gameplay information yet. Remember all the voice actors coming back to reprise their roles for the game? Yeah, that's probably not cheap, right? Especially when Bruce Campbell himself is such an icon and the literal face of the game. How about the focus on the exclusive in-game cosmetics for pre-orders? Even I had a hard time not pre-ordering to get the various Ash skins that were available. And finally, that epic game store exclusivity. Those deals usually come with a bag of cash and a choice between padding their pockets or providing a game to players regardless of their choice of game store. VHS, another game that I'm following, has store pages on both Steam and the Epic Game Store, as an example. The last time I remember a game studio hyping up a game without showing much real gameplay outside of scripted scenarios was Cyberpunk 2077, and we all know how that one ended. Evolve is a game whose demise is credited to the publisher when they focused on trying to sell as much DLC as possible while taking their sweet time making it playable. I suggest you watch the Matt McMuscles video on Evolve to see exactly what happened there. Now, ready for the finish? Let me put it this way. The creators and publisher of Evil Dead the Game have told us how to buy the game and what extras we can get if we buy the game early, but they haven't told us anything meaningful about the game itself. This is simply a red flag for me. Sure, the game could absolutely be fine and they're just biding their time to give us gameplay details until after they polish the game. But I can't shake the feeling that the gameplay is being deliberately hidden and that these delays are a result of the gameplay we aren't seeing. Evil Dead the game will probably just be another nostalgia driven cash grab with no longevity like the Predator. Players will pay the ticket price of 40 bucks to try it out for a bit, get bored, and then go back to their previous game of choice. Other new games releasing in May, when this thing is supposed to be releasing, is Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate, Demon Hunters, and Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Huge competition compared to what they would have faced if they released in February, alongside Destiny 2 The Witch Queen, Lost Ark, Horizon Forbidden West, and Elden Ring. Maybe Evil Dead needed more polish, or maybe it needed a duff to make itself look good to maximize their number of units sold. Duff, D-U-F-F. Designated ugly fat friend. Like I said before, I have no idea what will happen, and I hope I'm wrong about this one. Multiple options within a genre is a very good thing, and Evil Dead the game seems like it has everything it needs to be successful. Let's just hope that success includes a wonderfully fun game that will stick around for more than a few months after you've given them your money. If you liked this video, it would really help me out if you hit the like button and sub to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I would also appreciate your thoughts and comments on this video and any other topic you're interested in down below. Maybe your comment will make it into a future video as the inspiration for it. Who knows? Follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you want to see me stream live. And until next time, I am Space Coconut, and you're welcome.